Morning, ladies and gentlemen, Bird Delorean here. Hope you guys are doing well. Well, happy Thursday, happy Thursday. I'm a little bit early today, but I love Facebook Live because you can always go back and review and uh, look at it later. So sorry that I'm a little bit early, but nevertheless, let's get started. So did you take time out to study? Remember, we must study the word, we must study the word, and we know it is late. And the solution, we need to return to the Lord. And he stated, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life and that is John 3 16. Let us go into prayer. The kind of gracious Son of Father, I thank you for this beautiful day. Right now I ask you that you will decrease me so that you will be increased is my prayer in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Okay so scripture reading is coming from let's see it's it's first Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 18 and it says in every things give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you may the Lord add a blessing to the reading and hearing and the doing of his words so let us go into we are in a new book we are in a new book same author a new book a saint the sanctified life somebody my friends bird I'll say bird I'll always show it upside down so a sanctified life and this is just a, um, a word to the reader. It says, under the general title of sanctification, a series of articles from Ellen G. White appear in the early issue of the Review and Herald for 1881, written from a deep experience in the things of God and from a mind and heart illuminating by the Holy Spirit. Mrs. White carefully examined the elements to true sanctification and contrasted these with various unsound but popular theories on the subject. So we're going to go into our first chapter in uh, the sanctified life. And the topic is true and false theory contrasted. Let me go this way. Okay, here we go. And it says, the sanctification set forth in the sacred scriptures has to do with the entire being, the spirit, soul, and body. Here is the true idea of the entire consecration. Paul prays that the church at Thessalonica may enjoy this great blessing. The very God of peace sanctified you wholly, and I pray God, that your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And this is coming from 1 Thessalonians uh, chapter 5, verses 23. There is, the, there is in the religious world a theory of sanctification which is false in itself and dangerous in its influence. In many cases, those who profess profess sanctification do not possess the genuine article. Their sanctification consists in talking and with worship. Those who are really seeking to perfect Christian character will never indulge the thought that they are sinless. Their lives may be re irreproachable. They may be living representative of the truth which they have accepted, but the, more, but the more they discipline their minds to dwell upon the character of Christ, the nearer their approach of his divine image, the more clearly they will discern the spotless perfection, and the more deeply will they feel their own defects. When persons claim that they are sanctified, they give sufficient evidence that they are far from being holy. They fail to see their own weaknesses and dest destitution. They looked upon themselves as re reflecting the image of Christ because they have no true knowledge of him. The greater the distance between them and their savior, the more righteous they appear in their own eyes. While the penitence and the humble trust, we meditate upon Christ, whom our sins have pierced and our sorrows has burdened. We may learn to walk in his footsteps. 
By beholding him, we become changed into his divine likeness. And when this work is wrought in us, we shall claim no righteousness of our own, but shall exalt Jesus Christ while we while we hang our helplessness, our helpless souls upon his merit. Let me go back. And when this work is wrought in us, we shall claim no righteousness of our own, but shall exalt Jesus Christ while we hang our helpless souls upon his merit. So that concludes my topic today, true and false theory uh, contrasted. So on tomorrow, Friday, we're going to go uh, righteousness, self-righteousness condemned. Self-righteousness condemned. But may I share with you uh, my devotion for this morning? I'm just going to do a little part of that, just a little part. Let me drink some water here. Okay, so this is on the work of heart keeping, the work, the work of heart keeping. And then this is coming from Proverbs 4.23. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. And it goes on, it states here, diligent heart keeping is essential to a healthier growth in grace. The heart in its natural state is in a habitation, yeah, habitations or a residence of unholy thoughts and sinful passion. They're brought into subjections to Christ. It must be cleansed by the Spirit from all defilement. This cannot be done without the consent of the individual. So we all have to give the Holy Spirit uh, an invitation to take full control. Okay, it goes on to state, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I'm going to give you part of it here. It says, when the soul has been cleansed, it is the duty of the Christian to keep it undefiled. Many seems to think that the religion of Christ does not call from the call for the abandonment of daily sins. They break loose from the habits which had held the soul in bondage. They renounce some things condemned by the conscience, but they fail to represent Christ in the daily lives. They do not bring Christ-likeness into the home. They do not show a thoughtful care in their choice of words. Too often, fretful, impatient words are spoken. Words which stir the worst passions of the human heart. Such ones needs the abiding presence of Christ in the soul. Only in his strength can they keep guard over the words and action. And then I'm going to skip down. It said the Christian cannot always be in a position of prayer, but his thoughts and desire can always be upward. Then I'm going to go down to the last uh, paragraph. Uh, let me read this last one, but it's one, one, one above that. It says, to keep your heart in heaven will give vigor to all your grace and put life into all your duties. We are dwarfed in spiritual attainment. It is the privilege and the duties of Christians to be increasing in the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man. Should I repeat that? It is the privilege and duties of the Christians to be increasing in the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man. So that is the work of heart keeping. That's my devotion for today. But before we go, here is my hymn. Cause me to, cause me to hear. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning. For in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I shall walk, for I lift up my souls to thee. Amen. Should I repeat that? Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I shall walk, for I lift up my souls to thee. Amen. Isn't that a beautiful song? Cause me to hear. So as we continue, my sister, my brother, 
giving God the praise, the honor, and glory. It doesn't matter what's going on in your life. Turn off the news because all you get is a bad, bad information and it keeps your mind from doing what you're supposed to do and that's keeping your mind on Christ. So you cannot have the news on like you think, thinking that you're keeping your mind on Christ. No, no, no. Because there's a, ne a lot of negativity going on there and it's actually false information because all it's doing is allowing you to keep your mind in the wrong direction instead of focusing on, on the Lord. He is our only hope for today. He says he says on he is he is our only hope. So we need to just turn that off, get out, take get walk around, get some fresh air, my sister, my brother, and make sure that you are studying the word. Don't listen to the news. Word, read the word. Some people have the news on all day instead of reading the Bible. You cannot be having the news on and reading the Bible. It doesn't go together because it's two different spirit, two different spirits there. So we have to make sure that we are choosing to be on the winning team, on the winning team. And we know the beginning of the story and we also know the end of the story. We got the Genesis story all the way in the Bible to the book of Revelation and everything is, is working out just how God wants it. And we got um, angels that are assisting us to making sure that we stay grounded, but we have to invite the Holy Spirit in our life moment by moment to take full control. Let us bow for prayer. The kind of gracious Santa Father, I thank you, Father. I thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for this moment in time, Father. Thank you that you have given us another time, Father, in this time, Father, that you have called us from out of darkness into your marvelous light. And I forever give you all the praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name I have prayed, amen and amen. Okay, my sister and brother, until tomorrow, be blessed and take care. And enjoy the day. I mean, it's a beautiful day. Uh, the wind is blowing. It's, I don't know how hot it is today. But nevertheless, however the weather is in your neighborhood, make sure that you have the love of the spirit of love that's, that's permeating in your home, okay? That's what you want. You want that. You want to be on fire for the Lord in your home. And so when people see you, they don't see you, but they see that you are a different person. And then they could come talk to you. They could see your smile. They could see, well, okay, there's something different about that person. And we know that would be the Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. So let us continue to remain faithful until the end. And thank you so much for taking the time out of your business schedule to stop by here uh, today so uh, you can make a, a like can you uh, hit the like button make a comment what are you doing today and then also share 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 and then you can also go over to YouTube and follow me there under Burdell Warrior and thank you my sister thank you my brother I really appreciate it and I love you I love you I love you until tomorrow be blessed and take care